Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will hit your corpse. These things are nasty. So today, the Event FJ-4B is out, and this vehicle is armed with guided air-to-ground missiles. Now, they're not the easiest thing to use uh, for anybody who wants to scream OP and stuff. Let's give it a week, maybe? <laughs> um, but we have figured out how to use them with camera controls and kind of make them pretty accurate and effective. I'm not going to tell you guys my control bindings just yet, and the reason for that is they're not fine-tuned, and I kind of want to see how this plays out. Because guys, you might... They might nerf something. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But basically, it is this plane, and it's an FJ-4V, FJ-4B, excuse me, uh, an event vehicle, not premium. You have to grind out these uh, modules, which are the AGM-12 bullpups, and they are a type of missile that is guided with keys. They're not mouse-guided missiles. They're key-guided, and they're very tough to use. It is a challenging thing. I can get kills, but not every time. Predator or Predatorian is probably the best person I've seen use these thus far, and he can get them pretty, pretty well. You can definitely kill at least four people with these tank, uh, with these a AGMs in a ground forces battle. But the thing is, you want to stay farther away from tanks if you're going to be using these uh, for their guided purpose. As you can see there, I just sailed one, and they're tough to use. They're not easy. It's not a one-hit kill every single time. Sometimes they don't kill tanks. Sometimes you miss. Sometimes they get eaten by trees. But when they do hit, um, you do massive damage. They're pretty similar to how the S21s work on uh, the MiG-17, MiG-15. They're just super powerful from the top down. They do a lot of damage. You can dummy fire these rockets or dummy fire them as if they were rockets, and they're about the equivalent of a 250-pound bomb. Um, they can kill multiple tanks if they're close enough, and you splash them. It can splash damage tanks, and it can kill pretty much any top-tier vehicle in the game with one hit if you hit the proper spot. Um, the way these work is you launch them off the rail. You press your key bind that you have set up. Mine is Control and WASD. And then once you're pressing Control, you can change the vertical guidance and up and down and the yaw axis left or right and kind of move where the missile wants to go. Now, this thing takes kind to nice adjustments, small adjustments, not large adjustments. If you pin it 100% vertical, the missile usually gets stuck and it's going to go up. It's not going to be used. Uh, if you pin it left, right, etc. That's just kind of how it works. Now, you get five of these, five tanks possible to kill. And I'm going to clear up a couple questions that people might have. If you have any more questions or answers comment down below and i will be doing a full gameplay on this i just wanted to show some gameplay of these in a private environment like testing environment to see what they were capable of um and yeah you can use them you can use them to kill tanks you can use them to kill aa you can stay out of aa range never come even close to aa range and still hit vehicles uh these things have a max range i believe of 16 kilometers i haven't really seen the max range but they go far you can get them to go far a couple questions you can kill planes that are on the airfield you can shoot these from the airfield. So if you're laying on or you're sitting on the airfield, you can shoot these and they'll go a certain amount of distance. Now, it won't be as far as if you're uh, flying. And the reason for that is when you're flying, you give the missile momentum and it will travel farther on its rocket boost. It only has a, I think it's like 15 second um, or maybe it's a three second afterburner on its burn burnout rocket. And then it will burn out and it'll just glide the rest of the way. So when you're on the airfield, you don't have any airspeed to add to it. It only has like a range of maybe three kilometers. But if you're on the airfield rearming and you pop up and somebody's coming in to attack you, you can hit a plane with these things. It's just very, very crazy. And, um, you know, as you can see, I'm trying to fire them dummy there. They kind of launch up above the wing. If you have used the Panzerwerfers or some other rockets in this game before, you'll know that they, they kind of don't aim where the rockets aim. They go up a little bit. And that's kind of how these work. you got to get a feel for them. So I would recommend testing. I played these for about 40 minutes. You're watching gameplay right now about 20 or 30 minutes into just testing this. And I'll show you what it looks like when you get hit on the ground. These things are very hard to spot. If you don't see the plane, you won't, you won't know you're going to get hit with an ATGM uh, or an AGM. And on top of that, they don't really make much noise until they're right over you. That being said, they are a physical thing on the on the map. It's just they're hard to see. I mean, how are you going to see a missile? There's a lot going on in a battle. You don't really see the missile coming. And you get shots like that too, where it looked like I hit them, but I didn't actually hit them. There's some parallax with the camera while I'm doing this. And if you're curious as to how I'm doing it, 
um, you just hold the rocket button and you can move the camera around before you get some time. The best distance to engage with these, in my opinion, would be about six to eight kilometers out from the battlefield. You see, that was a dummy rocket that hit pretty well. Um, six to eight kilometers out from the battlefield. So then you're not in AA range. You can take out AA and then go in and use these as dummy rockets if you'd like. Uh, because it'll be easier to kill an MBT from up close and more percentage of hitting it, even if he's moving, using it like it's an S-21 or something like that. And only really use the guided portion of these rockets to take out AA. Now, a lot of people had complaints about AA, and I don't think it's fair that this is the only vehicle that gets these. But I think next patch or the patch after, we should get more of these uh, ordinances, which will kind of actually balance out the way radar works. Radar right now, if you're within the radar's you know, radar, uh, you're pretty much dead as a plane, regardless of if you're a jet, a prop, what you, what armament you have. So now they kind of have to worry about these things and they kind of have to hide on the battlefield to not get hit by AGMs. And if they have guided ones for every nation, it'll kind of take away from the op of <laughs> the radar. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I know it was just a quick video. I'm out to my hometown. I'm going to go have a nice barbecue, and I'll be streaming later on today, playing with these in some real matches. So let me know what you want to see in the comments down below, and enjoy the rest of the footage. Peace, peace. Wow. So I'm looking at you, right? And I don't see anything. And I saw the smoke launch, like you, when you launched it from your plane. But other than yeah. that, it was just me looking, and then the missile popped into my sight. Like, it was literally right in my face, and then it hit me. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> it is like a 250-pound bomb, right? Yeah. All right, so let's see. Do you use X to select your target, Fred? Nope. All right, I see it. I see it. Nope, I'm still good. But I got tracked and my engines hurt. Or my guns damaged.